Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Righteousness is True Religion. Where do we find such a statement in the Bible? We find it in James. James 1.27 where he defines pure and true religion as the time when you visit orphans and widows. When you step out of your shell and when you go into your neighborhoods and when you show forth your righteousness, your support and your help for the needy, the nameless and faceless, then and only then you practice true religion. And everything else, what you call religion or religious practices or institution or denominations have nothing to do with the heavenly kingdom and also have nothing to do with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Also, you will always claim the opposite. Righteousness is true religion in front of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he practices himself. Every day he was going out to the needy, to the lost ship, to the suffering. He was healing so many people. And they were all of the lower kind. The, uh, the, to the rich people and the powerful people, he said, change your ways, take your cross and follow me. But to the lower ones, he said, the poor will inherit the kingdom. So why is it so difficult to practice true religion? Because this world has a ruler, and this ruler is Satan, and Satan places his temptations in your ways, and you fall for it. You go for riches, you go for a career, you go for your businesses, you go for all the things, and you put it together with your religion, and you claim the Lord has said, tomorrow you should open that business, and the Lord has claimed, tomorrow you should build your careers, and the Lord has said next year you will be successful in your worldly endeavors. These people who say statements like this are all false prophets. What has the Lord to do with this place of Satan? What he wants is that you turn, that you turn, that you return back to the Father, that the hearts of the children, of his children, of all of his children will be turned back to the Father as it stated in the spirit of Elijah, who wrote that? Malachi. Malachi 4. Read it by yourself. The hearts of the children shall be turned to the fathers. And with these fathers are not only meant the forefathers, but also all the true fathers, but also the Father in heaven, his Son and the Holy Spirit. Now it's time to turn your heart. Now it's time to turn away from the world, to come out of the world and out of Babylon, and to practice true religion every day by helping the widows and the orphans. And in the case of James, it means all the people who suffer. But you also have to support one another and to share your resources and to build home churches because we are the church, and we are supernatural, and where two or three in my name are together, said the Lord, there he will be also. It has nothing to do with institutions, nothing to do with 501 charities, nothing to do with, with the registration, nothing to do with the world. True religion is righteousness, and the rapture is for the righteous. And that's the reason why we are called in Daniel 12, 3 to bring as many people as possible to righteousness. Because righteousness is true religion. And on our path to Mount Zion, we will clean our garments in the blood of the Lamb and make it white as snow. Because with these white garments, we will be able to enter paradise, our rest forever, with the Lord and with our Father, Jehovah Jireh. Now it's the time. Now it's the time to turn your back onto the world. It is the temptation of the enemy and to come out and to practice true religion. Not anymore bickering about Bible verses, not anymore fighting 
with one another. All of these places that I see, they are all wrong. True religion is righteousness. It's all defined in the Bible. Just go and read it. And of course you have to take your cross and follow Jesus. And of course you have to bite and obey Jesus' commands and not place something that an uh, apostle said over the word of Jesus Christ. Since when is the servant greater than the master? Oh, you people, you have to learn so much. But everything is written in the Bible. Just read it. Read it for yourself. And don't pick Bible verses. Read the whole Bible. Everything is relevant. Even the law of the world is relevant. Also, Jesus has changed a few things here and there. The law is still relevant. But we don't have to be Jews. We don't have to do Jewish traditional practices. Because this is also a human practice. People, just practice true religion, please. And this is righteousness. Clean your garment in the blood of the Lamb. Make it white as snow. So that we can all together, as a multitude clothed in white, be raptured into paradise at the sixth seal. Walk with us to, together that path. Come out of the world and out of Babylon and become righteous in the way that you come together every day in home churches, that you share resources, that you support one another, and that you go every day in your neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. Righteousness is true religion. Read it for yourself in James 1.27. And read many other places that I have mentioned. And read your Bible. Get an understanding. Take it to the Lord. Pray over it. Be in contact with the Lord every day. You are the bride. You are two sons and daughters of the Most High. You should be in contact with the Heavenly Kingdom every day. Not only through prayers, but also in your mind, in your soul and in your heart. God is in your heart. So the way to him is short. Just change your life and come out of the world. When you come out of the world and out of Babylon, this what I see on YouTube, this bickering and fighting will stop automatically because you will be filled with the Holy Spirit and you will have no desire to enter such things. You will not see me there discussing with them or fighting with them. And if somebody post a comment like this on my page, I remove it right away. We have to stay together, especially now in the time of the seals. Unity and love and support is required, as it was in the churches of the Book of Acts. Because persecution is coming, and if we do not stand together in one accord, we will be picked out and we will be destroyed by the Antichrist and the false prophet. Now it's a time to come together in love, unity and support. Now it's a time to stand together in a true religion, which is righteousness. And what are the white garments that I'm always talking about? Also that is defined in the Bible. The white garments are the righteous deeds of the saints. Again, we have the word righteous. So righteousness is what we are having to perform us into. We have to change from sin to righteousness. We have to repent, obey the Lord, follow him, walk with him wherever he is going. And by changing our sin nature to righteousness, we will be able to enter paradise and be part of the rapture. Please spread these messages, brothers and sisters, so that others can also see the light and that they can establish their light into their homes and their meeting place in their neighborhoods. Not in institution, not in buildings is the church. The church is within us. We are the church and we are supernatural. And we will bring the force, the light into the nations. This is our time to shine. This is our time of righteousness. This is our time of true religion. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And I hope I helped you a little bit on your way. If you have any question, please send them to me at our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. 
and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Please have a look at the first pinned comment and so into the messages because we also need some assistance to spread the word more, to get maybe on a live screen and to build more and establish more home church churches, especially in poor areas like in Africa or Asia, where the people cannot make it by themselves. So help and assist us. So into the messages. Bless us, especially in this season now, and assist us wherever you can. Share your resources. Lay the feet at the apostles' feet. Lay the funds at the apostles' feet so that we can use the funds to help the needy, to help whoever has need. It's your time to shine. It's your time to be supernatural. It's your time to be a true son and daughter of the Most High. And it's your time as a bride to walk with Jesus Christ closely to take him by the hand and walk with him wherever he is going. Righteousness is true religion. Maranatha.